Good day, and thanks for joining us for the Purdue University CME Group Ag Economy Barometer August 2022 survey results. I'm Jim Minter, director of the Purdue Center for Commercial Agriculture, and I'm going to share with you the highlights from the August 2022 survey. The Ag Economy Barometer rose this month to a reading of 117, up from 103 last month. And the Ag Economy Barometer is up 20 points over the last two months, but it's still 15 percent lower than it was this time last year. Both the Index of Current Conditions and the Index of Future Expectations rose this month. Current Conditions Index was up 9 points, and the Future Expectation Index was up 16 points, so it was the biggest driver of the improvement in the Ag Economy Barometer. Producers continue to be very concerned about what it's going to cost to put a crop in the ground in the spring of 2023. When we asked them to look ahead to next year and what were their biggest concerns, higher input cost was, for the second month in a row, their biggest concern, with over half of the producers in this month's survey citing that as their primary concern. Producers felt better about their farm's financial situation this month as the Farm Financial Performance Index rose 11 points to a reading of 99 compared to 88 last month. There continues to be a lot of uncertainty among producers regarding what input cost will be next year. When we asked producers in this month's survey to look ahead to crops that would be planted in 2023 and asked them what change they expect to see in crop input prices compared to what they paid in 2022, 40 percent of producers said they expect either no change in input prices or a small decline. But 28 percent of producers said they expect prices to rise by 10 percent or more. That uncertainty is contributing to some of the weakness we're seeing in the Ag Economy Barometer. The Farm Capital Investment Index rose slightly this month to a reading of 39 versus 36 last month, but remains well below where it was this time last year when the index stood at 53. We followed up again this month and asked producers who said now is a bad time to make large investments in the farming operation why they feel that way. 49% said the increase in prices for farm machinery and new construction was the number one reason for them thinking this is a bad time to make those large investments. There was very little change in the short-term farmland value expectation index with a reading of 128 this month versus 127 last month. However, the index is still down 18 points compared to this time last year and is actually 20 percent below its peak in 2021. Once again this month we asked corn and soybean farmers what they expect to see happen with respect to cash rental rates in 2023. 57 percent of the corn and soybean farmers in this month's survey said they expect to see cash rents rise in 2023 compared to 2022, and two-thirds of those respondents expect the rise in rental rates to be less than 10 percent. Once again, we've been asking farmers about whether or not they're engaged in discussions with companies about receiving payments for capturing carbon on their farms. In this month's survey, 9 percent of the producers in the survey said they have been having those discussions. That's a substantial increase to responses we received in prior surveys. We followed up and asked the farmers who said they'd been engaged in discussions what payment rates they've been offered by these companies. Three-fourths of respondents said they were offered a rate of less than $20 per metric ton of carbon captured. We asked farmers who told us they'd been engaged in some discussions with companies about receiving carbon payments but chose not to sign a contract what the minimum rate would be that they would need before they'd sign a contract. Roughly two-thirds said they'd need a rate of $30 per acre or more before they would consider signing a contract. That wraps up the highlights of this month's survey. You can obtain the full report at our website, purdue.edu slash agbarometer, and you can also get more details on our podcast, Purdue Commercial Agcast, which is available on major podcast providers and at the center's website, purdue.edu slash commercialag. On behalf of the Purdue Center for Commercial Agriculture, I'm Jim Mintert. Thanks for joining us.